Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. Ah, St. Mark is waiting. This week I'm going to make the name banner and all the letters on there. And that means I need some strips of glass, which I have already cut in black and some white for the background and a little bit of gray for the edging, which will vary slightly. So let me get after it. show a little closer how I cut this piece. Along the edge here I will be putting some gray, but this piece will be going right along that curve where the S is. And so to get a curve I'm just going to nip this, but I'm also going to tip my nippers just a little bit so that I get more of a curve like that. So that's not nearly deep enough. More like that. That's all there is to it. I usually like to pre-cut the pieces like the curve that goes inside this S before I lay the thin set, uh, but I've already laid the thin set, so it puts me under the gun a little bit. I've got to get it done quickly. I start by cutting off the corners, just nipping, so that I have a curved shape. I instinctively want to move my nipping away from my work. So hold on, let me grab a paper plate so I don't get it everywhere. That is, of course, way too fat. Cut it down skinnier, and then recut that corner. Rough nipping at this point, just to see if we can get the right shape. And then I just eyeball it. I keep comparing it to the space where I'm going to put it, back and forth, until I know it's going to fit. This one, because it's on a curve, I'll probably take it over to the grinder here in a second. See how that curve comes in a little bit? Taking that in just a little bit there, and in just a little bit there. And I'm going to take it to the grinder and grind that down so it's a little bit more smooth. <laughs> I managed to get some letters set and the background I noticed when I came over here where I'm going to put that little bit of gray shadow that it has already skinned over it's no longer shiny and that means it's time for me to remove this and lay some new thin set there because this just won't be as sticky and it won't be able to hold that glass in place as well as fresh thin set so it's pretty easy to remove at this point it's not hardened or anything Oop. So any of this thin set that's oozed out, 
I'm going to remove at the same time and just start fresh. neat magnetic canvas hearts at a craft store in town and there's four in the package so I decided to purchase them the magnets on the back there and make little mosaics for my four children because it's the perfect number I like that they're a little bit bigger they're pretty lightweight I don't think that this magnet is super strong so instead of doing a heavy glass mosaic, maybe using epoxy or something like that. I am going to paint these and then apply maybe a few tiles and some beads and then not grout them just to keep them a little bit more lightweight. So first thing first, I need to, I don't know why they're individually wrapped, but they're individually wrapped. So take this plastic off. All right, so I've talked to some of my children. I know that I have one son that loves green. And then when I reached out to the next one, he said a nice forest green, so that's his. My daughter said she is really liking green these days. I didn't hear from my other son and I think he likes purple. He's getting purple because he didn't respond. So anyway, that those are, the co those are the colors that I'm gonna use on all these and mostly beads. But then I also have this little bucket of some pretty little stuff that was donated to me, including some mirror glass and some greens and some teals and whatnot. So I might pull from this as well. I also have a little bucket of Van Gogh. There's a little bit of green in here, so maybe I'll use some of that. Let's see. All right, so I put some craft paints on this plate. And let me tell you, this one was a little clogged and then it sprayed everywhere. And then it got on me and then I had to clean my outfit. So it's been a it's been a minute but i'm back and i'm going to paint these little things it didn't take much paint because they're so small this purple is a little bit pearlized i'm going to start with that yeah that's really pretty starting with the green because it dried first but this is also for my oldest son, so it makes sense. And I'm using E6000 for that feature bead. But for these other things, well, these beads, I think I will also use E6000 if I end up using them because there's not going to be much contact with the substrate because of the angle of the beads, and it needs a really strong adhesive. For the rest of the pieces, I, though, I can use Weld Bond.
test. Let's see if they stay. All right. How nice is that? I'm so glad I painted the background and then I didn't have to grout. I think that was just the easiest thing to do. And it did sort of lighten up the overall weight of them. Now I've got to get back after these letters. Just bought some new epoxy sculpt in two different colors. This one is natural and it is parts A and B. And the other one is black parts A and B. There is a label on the top that says, this is kit A and B, do not separate. This is kit A and B, do not separate. And so in an effort to keep these kits together, I am going to mark them so that I can easily see which Part A goes with which part B, and it doesn't get mixed up. So for the natural, I'm going to be marking it with this pink nail polish. And that way I can easily see which one goes together. I'm going to mark it in multiple, multiple places on the label. So no matter how I pick it up, I'll see it. Bloop. And the same with this one. Bloop. That's good. Those go together. And That's it.
finish the banner. I'm actually pretty slow at making the letters. I feel like making the eyes and making the letters is just a, a little bit slower than some of the other stuff. So I'm, I'm glad to have that finished and I'll be able to work on the rest of it next week. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.